everyone, I'm Megan Clemente and this is your Panther Report. Going into last weekend's game against Western Kentucky, Coach Cristobal said it would be physical and how right he was. Now the Panthers need to rest up and prepare to face South Alabama in Mobile. FIU takes control early as quarterback Jake Medlock connects with a wide open Willis Wright for 24 yards. It leads to a field goal and FIU is the first on the board, 3-0 FIU. On the next possession, the Hilltoppers QB Kawan Jakes passes to Jack Doyle for a combined 43 yards on two plays and would eventually score. 7-3 Western Kentucky at the half. FIU's defense comes alive in the third. Take a look at this. Third down and four. Jakes over the middle and it's up in the air and picked off. This is Chuck Grace. And he is up near midfield. The Panthers are now in business. Yes, they are. The momentum continues as Medlock hands off to Darian Mallory, who cuts back and rushes down the middle for 24 yards. It leads to a field goal. FIU trails by one. In the last two minutes, FIU history is made when wide receiver Willis Wright makes his fifth catch of the game for a total of 128 yards, marking his third straight 100-yard-plus game. The Panthers fall 14-6 to Western Kentucky. In the postgame, Coach Cristobal stated that he knew that Western Kentucky was going to be a physical game, and as far as the Panthers are concerned, the defense certainly stepped up and played one of its better games of the year. The Panthers will now travel to South Alabama on Saturday afternoon for a 3.30 p.m. kickoff. This will be the first meeting for the Panthers and Jaguars. I'm Megan Clemente, and thanks for checking out this edition of the Panther Report.